We are in Rega Park, small colored community in Boxburg. Feels good to be here. You know home is where the heart is. Growing up here was a lot of fun. A whole lot of things happened here. Um, I would say I grew up in one of the, the best classes ever. Growing up in Blue Girl Street is, is something that I would say that, that I'll never forget. We stayed in the back room in, in somebody's yard. It wasn't easy or, or it was difficult. I would say it was just all right. When we moved to, to Ramaphosa informal settlement, I was already ex uh, accepted at the School of Excellence after I graduated. I came back and I stayed there for, for a year and a half until I turned professional. The way that my mom went through the struggle going to work every day and taking her to the taxi rank and uh, make sure she gets it into the taxi and then I go wait for her there again, you know, those things made me made me think that my mom is a definitely a strong woman and she deserves better. So when I first got my first professional contract, I made sure that she, she has a, a better house. Bunda is actually a soft person and he likes to help people and listen to people and give advice. I'm friendly with the whole Kasi. Uh, everyone knows me. I've been probably in everyone's presence, I would say. Uh, Bernard is a very soft-hearted person, and, you know. He's, he's with everyone. He's not saying he's keeping himself, that guy, you see. When he was growing up, he was used to play in the streets with the guys who was playing soccer. That's how was Bernard was growing up. He was like to uh, play soccer. We basically played soccer everywhere, you know. We'd play on the turf, play on the tar, as long as we find a good spot where we could make things happen. But one thing that I always get beaten for at home was coming back crying. Now and then when the cat uh, in the street, coming and crying, say, hey, go back, go hit that guy back. But he's bigger than me, say, no, take her something and eat him. Don't come and cry at home. But uh, up from there, I don't come. When the cat hurts, you're going to cry there around the corner, you mustn't see. The learning lesson from that, I would say, is that I've learned to, to be responsible. Uh, the actions that I take, I'd have to be responsible for it and take accountability for it. We're on our way to my primary school. Yes, where, where it all started. I remember walking to school. You know, we used to be a, a group, a group of friends. So we would uh, meet on the corner. On our way to school, we would walk and play and make jokes. And same way back after school, the same way. This is a good experience, eh? Thank you so much for coming back. And I think um, we want to see your old classroom, where it all started on the soccer field. Um, and we're really proud of you. And thank you for setting a good um, example and for laying the foundation at Lakeside. Thank you, sir. So our school is situated in Reiger Park. So our children come from very poor socioeconomic backgrounds. But I think Bernard is a clear example to show that the dream is possible. A, a soccer star coming from a, a, a grounds like this and to make it big in the soccer world like this, uh, to us, that's amazing. I was involved with Bernard since, I think, grade one when he was six years old, starting to participate in, in school level, in athletics. He was very, very dedicated. Dedicated in his schoolwork and also dedicated on the sports field. Funny enough, my primary school teacher, he discovered my talent, you know, how good I am, and then he took me for trials at the School of Excellence. We always knew that uh, after grade seven, after primary school, that he needs to go to a school where the talent will be developed further. We were very uh, excited for him. We were very proud to know that one of our kids is going into a, a school like that where his talent can be developed further. It, it wasn't an easy decision for me to make, leaving, leaving Kasi to go to to the academy. 
or me being the community boy, I would love being in, 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 the, in, in, the, in the location, you know, because it was nice. We're on our way to Savoy. Savoy is a fast food place where we usually hang out, it's a hangout spot. There is, there's two meals I would, I would like that I always just make sure I get from them. It's called a bazooka. Bazooka is, is a, it's chips. The chips is mixed with, um, with lettuce, with bologna. It's, it's mixed with a, with a, lot, of, a lot of goodies. The other one is the, the chips and wings. Chips and wings combo. The wings are unbelievable. This place has got many, many memories. This place has got a, an, an history on its own, if I, can, if I can say. Two kilometers away from here, there's a sports field there. So whenever you're doing your sports uh, event or just uh, chilling overall as a human being, this is the place where you hang out and have a meal. You know, when, when, when you, whether you're outside of Reicha Park, whether you're inside of Reicha Park, you always, when you talk about takeaway foods, us as youngsters, that was our thing, coming from football. We need to pass away. Our favorite meals, uh, in terms of uh, when we, we used to hang around as, as youngsters, uh, after our matches or after watching a match or after chilling, uh, would uh, be your, your standard, your standard uh, meals that you get in places like this as a Kasi. Because I mean, we used to compromise that time we were youngsters, so whoever had whatever, whatever they had, then we'd compromise and check the fee we had, and then we'd go, we'd go with the flow. What I love about Reha Park the most is that if you call people together, right, no matter what it is, we will unite, right, and we will make sure that we reach the same objective. It takes the village to raise a kid, you know, and um, that's the thing I love most about, about the friendliness of the people we share amongst each other. And that's, that's one thing that will forever, that will ever hold in my heart. I'm proud of him as a, he's a soccer star, I got, and he's a married man. But look, I grow look after his kids and his wife. Because, like his house, man, look like as a family man. Look after his family. Hi guys, thank you for joining me at my Kasi. It was a lovely experience. I had a great time with the crew. My name is Bernard Parker, and that was my Kasi. I'm a Kasi for life.